Congratulations on this launch. Let me just ask you first, though, of course, we have seen this tech index launch amid this rush of listings in Hong Kong by these tech giants, including Alibaba, NetEase, uh, JD.com, at a time when they have their listings in New York, but they want another one in Hong Kong. Will we see this tech index as a proxy for perhaps those businesses that fear uh, their prospects in the U.S. as we continue to see this China-U.S. tension escalate? Well, I think... Um we look at it that way. Uh, Hong Kong's market is now uh, capturing new opportunities. Uh, previously, I mean, uh, uh, the Hong Kong market is perceived as a place for investors to look at Hong Kong opportunities or, or China stocks, China opportunities. Uh, we have the Hang Seng Index, which represents the Hong Kong market. And we have the Hang Seng China Enterprises Index. At a certain time, I think it attracts a lot of uh, great uh, people, great investors. I mean, using the Hong Kong market to 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 invest in the into the fast growing uh, China stocks, China sectors. And now I believe um, uh, the Hong Kong market is being seen, being perceived by investors as a venue that they can uh, invest into tech stocks. The tech index is expected to be a bit more volatile than the flagship indices that we already have. So how much will that affect investor appetite when it comes to this index? Uh, I, I believe uh, global investors, uh, whether it's in America, or Europe, or in, even local investors in Hong Kong and China, uh, we used it to uh, looking at these new sectors or, or the emerging tech sectors in Hong Kong as uh, more, more volatile than um, the traditional uh, typical stocks. Uh, that, that's fair, I think, uh, in, a, in, in the market. Uh, if you expect higher return, then you also expect higher volatility and higher risk. And for the tech stocks, we understand that, I think, uh, some of them would be uh, uh, very successful. Some of them are, might be they just are testing their, their business model. So uh, uh, people need to recognize that. Vincent, do you expect this new index to become almost a proxy if the U.S. government ends up banning their uh, funds and index providers from having access to major Chinese tech stocks? Well, uh, let's look at, it. look at it, I think, uh, how it evolved. Uh, for Hong Kong, um, in, the, in the past couple of years, uh, we are being, say, uh, criticised okay, to, uh, to a certain extent that I think the, the Hong Kong market a lack of uh, uh, new sectors, new economy sectors. Well, that's because uh, we do have a lot of traditional uh, uh, large banks, uh, properties. Uh, this kind of stocks are, are in Hong Kong. Uh, and now, I think, with the opportunities, we, we are seeing that some American companies are returning to the local market. But they, they are China tech stocks. Uh, previously, they may use of the U.S. market as a funding source, uh, there are investors there. They are, they are keenly interested in, in, in those stocks. But now, I think mean, there's, there's an op opportunity because in the Hong Kong market, I think the infrastructure, the regulatory uh, changes, as well as the stock connect, uh, we are now bringing uh, mainland China investors uh, to Hong Kong so that, that all the conditions are now ready for large China tech stock, whether they are in, 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 in China or where they are already listed elsewhere, um, now they have the opportunity to come back to Hong Kong. And we hope and we believe it, it can attract global investors yeah, using the Hong Kong market to invest in these uh, important uh, emerging uh, tech markets in Hong Kong. So as we saw in that uh, chart just before, you know, tech really does make up a very minimal portion in a market that is dominated by the big financials in Hong Kong. I'm wondering what the response from asset managers has been so far. Can you share with us the amount that the index has secured in asset tracking so far? Yeah, uh, that's a very good question. Uh, uh, in the past couple of weeks, actually, uh, since we preliminary announced, I think that we, we are intending to launch the index, we already received a lot of uh, responses, both from the market, from the media, as well as from various uh, market players, including uh, ETF, asset management, uh, derivative issuers. Uh, and last week, last Monday, we announced detail of the uh, indexes. And 
and all the uh, all the major issues uh, asset management companies uh, are knocking on our doors asking for more details about the index and they are looking forward to the launching uh, a real time launching of the uh, this index and uh, i would say um, a various kind of issues uh, whether they are uh, uh, issue of etfs or derivatives uh, even the uh, stock exchange uh, they are very interested in creating kind of uh, an ecosystem i think for uh, index linked products uh, to serve the market to serve uh, global investors do you expect fund flows to divert to this new tech index from say other similar venues like the internet and it index uh, what we hope is that if our index can catch investors attention uh, just like being the attention they play uh, uh, they put in our Hang Seng Index or Hang Seng China Indexes, then this this stock index, this Hang Seng Tech Index, will become another major barometer for both local and international investors. You know, I think uh, uh, the index need to be recognized, uh, need to be known to investors, and then the funds will flow into it. We previously have a kind of uh, other tech indexes. But uh, at, but at the moment, I think because they, they they don't have the kind of attention. But now we believe uh, with this launch of the index and also like uh, Bloomberg, I think you you you're paying uh, very strong attention to our indexes. It will help attract various investors uh, to make use of this uh, index um, for basket uh, investment into the tech sector. So attracting those investments, not to mention, of course, the uh, coming of Chinese tech companies to Hong Kong. How will all of that impact and change not only Hong Kong, but the Hong Kong stock market? Um, for, for, the, for stock market, I think just like, like any uh, platform, uh, you need to let people know uh, what you are and who you serve, basically. <laughs> Uh, the Hong Kong market is well known. I think it's very open market. Uh, global investors and now even mainland investors, they can cool QD, cool, cool uh, stock connect. Uh, they can make use of the Hong Kong market. But also, I think what the market, Hong Kong market is and what, what the market served, um, as I said earlier, previously people would look at the, the, the local Hong Kong stock and then the China stock. Now, I think uh, we are getting attention um, as an emerging uh, tech platform for global tech companies uh, to come to Hong Kong. And I would say, I think once you have a view, then I think uh, and, and, and at a point you, you, you reach the critical mass. And I believe the companies will come, the investors will come, because I think with a, a large number of supplier and, and investors, then the market can create kind of fair valuation to the companies as well as to the investors. When do you expect that options and uh, futures trading will be available for the tech index? Uh, I believe, I think, mean, uh, given this kind of very strong market interest, uh, the stock exchanges which provide a venue for futures and options trading, um, they will try uh, their best, I think, mean, to meet the kind of uh, market expectations. Right. Uh, so, Vincent, what's next? Which sector will be next to see a new sub-index or new index, I should say? Okay, uh, thank you for this question. Um, well, I think uh, we definitely will spend a lot of time um, to um, um, uh, let investors, I mean, know this uh, uh, tech index first. Uh, because I think uh, in Hong Kong, just like, like, like in America, I think people understand Dow, uh, 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 S&P, and then the NASDAQ, I think. Uh, we hope that in Hong Kong they 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 do I think continue to have uh, uh, interest in in all the free indexes that we, we provide the Hang Seng Index the Hang Seng China Enterprises Index and the Tech Index. Uh, definitely, there are still a lot of happening in Hong Kong, um, just like the uh, Greater Bay areas. Um, given time, I think people would recognize the kind of dynamics uh, between Hong Kong and then the Pearl River Delta. Uh, this Greater Bay areas, I think, it's not for short term, but I think. Uh, in long term, we will uh, put more efforts, I think, to uh, create this kind of dynamic.